So good morning guys. Um, kind of making maybe the last trip to Bodium for a bit. Um, National Trust have opened all their properties for free at the moment. And I don't know how many people are here. It's very, very quiet. Um, so make the most of what we got, I suppose. It is beautiful. I kind of like what it's like without any humans, isn't it? Wildlife, happy again. Um, anyway, so we might be in lockdown very soon, uh, like the rest of the planet. And, uh, well, fingers crossed, everything's all right. Um, it's just one of those weird things, really, isn't it? We never expected any of this. But um, we shall see. Everyone's got to be positive, like I said on the previous video. Just got to keep doing what we're doing, but obviously keep yourself safe and healthy. And it is what it is, you know, we can't do anything more, really. Um, cut your costs as much as you possibly can to be sensible. So you, you keep as much money um, available to yourself and obviously for food and things like that. So um, if it gets that bad for you, just be uh, very mindful of your own health. Um, but I'm going to have a little wander around the castle and uh, appreciate what we've got and uh, take a few photos and uh, obviously leave some comments below. Don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button because obviously that makes all the difference for me and uh, as many views as you possibly could. I know people are going to have uh, quite a bit of time on their hands so uh, you know please watch my videos <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, keep yourself active, uh, a little bit of exercise. I've got an uh, exercise bike that I'm going to be using. Um, and uh, see where we are, but this might be my last little trip out, and uh, we shall see how we go. But uh, keep yourself safe. Right, I'm saying I'm going to take some photos now. It's a bit of a miserable day, but it's uh, it's calm, not much wind, um, and uh, yeah. So let's have a little walk. So between that tree and the other big one over there, there's a woodpecker bouncing around, but he seems to have. Uh, disappeared and also big fish is jumping out of the water literally missed four four shots of um, chances there they just literally as soon as you don't know where they are that's the trouble they just suddenly launch out of the water and uh, you can um, hopefully try and get a shot but they jump out twice every single time so if you can get on there we go get on <laughs> Get on one, I think it was a duck actually. Get on one, you can, uh, in theory, lock onto the second launch. But who knows? Reflections are good, well, well the ducks aren't um, ruining everything. So I finally managed to spot the woodpecker. I think it's a lesser spotted woodpecker. Um, but I'd just be shooting in uh, HFR mode with some ducks washing themselves and splashing around and uh, zoomed in on him on there and obviously it was in slow motion he was hopping around, flicked it to manual uh, just to quickly try and get a shot and then he darted around the back of the tree so I missed, missed that opportunity unfortunately um, but I actually got enough enough time to actually see what it was um, so anyway, hopefully I might get another chance in a bit I'm just uh, wandering around and uh, Making the most of it, so uh, do, do, do. wildlife has increased massively, especially this is sort of late in the morning now. That thing's just chirping. Got this cool old uh, carved tree trunk of some sort. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's have a little wander around anyway. So, with the RX-10 Mark IV, and any camera really, um, if it's got a little pop-up flash, which obviously pro-level stuff doesn't really have, and I think some Nikons did, but um, obviously we can, we've got lots of buds and things happening now, um, which I can shoot with this 600mm uh, at f4, which is not a problem, but if I want to add a bit of creative lighting to the situation, 
Just up my shutter speed a little bit. Fire the flash at 600mm, which misses your um, hood anyway. I'm, I'm around about a metre or so away. And uh, you get a lot of a, a lot different look. Um, image. Um, which is great. You can literally just pop the flash up. Balance your lighting. You just get a nice black or darker background which brings out your subject. So little things like that. I know we might not be able to go outside, but if you've got plant pots at home with flowers and things like that in it, you can do close up imagery. Um, if you've got an RX-10 Mark IV or an RX-10 of any uh, variety, like the one, two, three, um, it works exactly the same, there's no difference. Um, and they're really cool because at 24 millimeters, you can go really close. Um, but also if you back out to 92 centimeters, you can actually zoom in uh, to 600 millimeters and uh, get a different view, but actually get more of a macro feel. It is a macro because it's not that close, but some people I know are using macro filters, which I've not actually tried, um, mainly because I've got two dedicated macro lenses. So um, on the A7R4, kind of don't really need to, but I'm not gonna say they're not usable. The duck's going up there. I think they've taken over the castle. I think they're in lockdown as well. So, what a cool place to be lock locked into. As long as you had food, got water, got duck. <laughs> so if you like a bit of duck. Any more coming in? Oh, we can try and get this. I was on fine spot then, so it was a little bit interesting to try and focus. But what did we get? Let's have a quick nose. I don't know, let's have a look later. I might be rubbish, but I shall go back to AFC and wide. So basically the camera will lock onto anything that is moving um, or I'm tracking in, in my view, basically. Um, kind of works the best generally. So ducks seem relatively happy and, you know, a few people wandering around the castle, uh, well, outside the castle's actually shut, but, um, Grounds are all free, which is great. I just really wanted a picture of the woodpecker. He seems to have uh, disappeared. Um, got a bit of holly here, so if you've got anything, I mean, we've got lots of things sprouting up at the moment, and I think spring's gonna be very beautiful. We've got lots of flowers coming. We've had loads of water, obviously rain, which has nourished the ground with lots of moisture. So the plants aren't gonna die or dry out. So um, I'm gonna take a few shots of this. Um, now, so I'm going to go back to, uh, I don't know if you can see this, um, AFC's flexible spot and I put it on small, so it gives me a real small view, and the ducks are out flying again, display team, um, and then trying to keep it down to ISO 100 to give me the best quality, but unfortunately the light is pretty crap, so 1 25th of a second at 600 millimetres. Uh, not too bad. This is where I can pop my little flash up and just increase my shutter speed a little bit to say 200. Same shot again. And we get a completely different look, but proper sharp, nice little bit of uh, shine off the leaves and everything like that, and away you go. And I'm, at the moment, I'm about eight feet, roughly, away from that holly. So it gives you a little bit of range, so it gives you an idea of what the um, the range of that flash is. I'd say about eight feet, depending on your shutter speed, obviously. Just want another duck to fly around, would be quite cool. So I'm shooting anywhere between ISO 100 and 400. It's quite bright anyway, but obviously, depending on what your shutter speeds want to be, if we've got something moving like the ducks coming flying in. Um, it's, you know, I'll just rack it up to ISO 400 and sort of a thousandth of a second. Might get a couple more ducks coming flying in in a minute. They're coming, oh, they're banking round over the trees. It's like Red Arrows uh, or the Blue Angels. I do like the Blue Angels, American F-18s. We've got the Red Arrows over here in the UK. Um, got three ducks here, all thinking I'm possibly gonna feed them. And we've got some water down here, look. So I might do some close-ups of those water droplets in a minute. Uh, 
Hello, duckies. We might get three more. They were out flying a second ago, so depending on what they're up to, they might come flying in over here in a minute. They look for humans, though, that's the thing. They look for humans for bread and seeds and stuff, depending on what people have brought them. Uh, no sign of the woodpecker. He seems to have uh, disappeared for a bit. It's a shame. This massive tree fell down and uh, knocked down the uh, basically the workman's shed, little garage. So that's uh, one massive old tree there. I think it's about 200, 250 years old or 200 years or something like that. I have a look, there's a board here. A crow flying around. Fortunately, uh, yeah, there's lots of things like this. So you just got to look around, guys. So it sort of, if you had a little bit of rain or a very moisture-based day, you've got some really cool uh, shots. So I basically then go, if I'm doing macro work or anything like that, go for spot focus and then spot focus small. And then, depending on your shutter speeds and what you want to try to achieve, Especially water droplets, a flash gun is or a pop-up flash is kind of ideal. But remember your depth, so probably shoot f5.6, something like that. Just to get a little bit more depth on the water droplets with a flash. Just remember you can't go too close because the camera doesn't like it. 92 centimetres minimum. But yeah, brings out the uh, the flash pops. The uh, water drop is out really nicely. So just look around guys, you, you know, whatever's in front of you, um, you can be, you know, take some interest off, you know, it's just being creative. Um, I think it was this say, 191 years, that victory. Close out. There's a bumblebee, bumbling somewhere, where is he? Trying to find the wildlife. So if you're lucky enough to have a garden or some, you know, somewhere you can go nearby that's obviously away from others, you can utilise. Um, where is he? Um, it's a bumblebee, definitely. Uh, you can utilise your, you know, skills in looking around. I mean, even old leaves and things like down here. You know, it's got moisture on. Let's take a picture. Look straight down. It looks a bit autumn-like, even though it's now spring. Apparently. Let's just see what these ducks do. That's it, guys. I think a few people came down for a little walk. Um, be interested to see what um, other National Trust places may be being used today. Um, everyone's keeping well away from each other, you know, they're being sensible about it, which is good. Um, but in there, if we get locked down, spider web. Not very interesting spot of it, but it's moisture hit, so we'll get a shot of that in a second. Um, but yeah, just have a experiment, just uh, keep practicing. I mean, you even got things like you know tree bark. It's it's so interesting the little stuff growing everywhere. You know, looking up, the birds are always going to be doing their thing. So if you're into bird photography or maybe start bird photography, you can put some stuff out. And there's that bloody fish again. Don't know if the uh, GoPro caught that, probably not. There we go, got him. So, hopefully I'll try and get a shot of this now. If I know where he is, I can kind of guess. But they wait around the bottom of uh, the tree branches there because little uh, bugs, you know, like moths, uh, moths um, mosquitoes and flies and stuff generally stay around things like that. So, hopefully he popped back up. At least I've got it on camera anyway. So, anyway, I'm going to carry on snapping, then I'm going to head home and... Uh, Try and plan life a bit. So take care um, and uh, keep positive. And uh, please subscribe. Please click the notification bell. And please watch my videos if you're a bit bored. Uh, comment. I'm going to be around as well. Be able to comment back. We have. Uh, I might even do a couple of lives uh, talking. So um, if you're up for that, let me, leave me a comment, and uh, we can uh, get through this whole lot of uh, stuff together. Apparently, the people shout shooting pheasant don't really care unless they're doing clay pigeon. I don't know. But uh, anyway, all right, guys, um, I'm going to head um, slowly back 
to the car and uh, snap on the way and uh, I shall see you soon. Alright guys, so this is just a mixture of the shots. So this is early on, this is uh, with uh, no flash, um, natural light uh, at 24mm wide angle f2.4. This is now at 600mm with flash, as you can see the, the uh, background is very dark because the light hasn't gone any further, my exposure is different. And this is um, two shots, one without the flash and the one when you see it slightly darker in a second with the flash. So it really gives you the options to um, you know, mess around with your settings on the camera and just the fill-in flash actually works really well. Um, really, really pleased on how you can do with the RX10. Uh, you know, depending on which model you've got, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, it's just adapting to what you can do with it. Uh, even focusing on on fish through the water, no problem at all. This um, this crow here um, sat right at the top of the tree. It's obviously broken off, but he was about 80 feet up. Uh, massive tree. Um, he's having a little bit of a clean there with his uh, feathers. It was quite cool. Just a shame the sky was rubbish. It was literally just overcast, boring, hardly any light. So shooting at ISO 400 most of the time. Um, more hen here wandering around. It is noticeable. I mean, I spend a lot of time here, and noticeable more wildlife generally through the sort of middle of the day as well. Normally, if you go there early in the morning, there's quite a lot out. But as soon as humans normally start appearing, they disappear. Um, it's noticeable that they are um, becoming more, you know, brave or whatever coming out, thinking well, there's no humans here. Um, just shows you how much quieter it's gone pretty much everywhere. So, uh, the old robin there. They've got plenty of food here. They're, these animals here are um, wild. You know, they, they yeah, they do get a bit of food or whatever, but they they do live. I've watched them. They do still do their natural thing, like uh, looking for bugs and uh, caterpillars and other worms and things like that. You just watch them. They're not interested in uh, bread and things so much. I mean, the ducks and the fish probably are, but they to be fine anyway so it's just um, it's just interesting to see how things are changing um, with the lack of people around you know um, doing the thing so hopefully everything will be sorted anyway, so this is shortly of the ducks coming in um, it's only uh, a couple of uh, I've got that mixed up um, a couple of shots here I actually um, it was a 24 frames per second blast um, and uh, basically the uh, the ducks came flying around and then came in uh, to land and as you can see there at 24 frames per second you can literally just pick the shot you want so tail almost touching then water touching there's the other two coming down um, they were so close to each other we can actually see the, the what they're actually doing they're actually really close they fly in formation a lot but they are seriously close to each other when they land they're almost smacking each other with their wings so it's quite interesting to watch um, how you know they actually uh, do come in and land and they're coming very quick um, but it's like a formation team, um, like a, like the Red Arrows or the Blue Angels and stuff like that. So um, it's always quite fun. Um, still a few leaves on the trees, like dead ones, you know, like autumn style winter leaves. There's a few that are still holding on for dear life kind of thing, um, which is kind of cool because you've got a bit of detail. It was a very wet day, as in like just moisture in the air. So there was lots of water droplets. It hadn't really rained. It was just sort of misty and a bit near. Um, but there's lots of water droplets sitting on, on flowers. A couple of uh, pigeon here. Um, and... Uh, they were just uh, basically huddling up together. Um, another bird here, nice and colourful. Uh, spot small uh, small spot focus with AFC on, no problem at all looking at him. This is really random. A squirrel with a complete circular piece of wood. He's literally chewed it out by the looks of it. It's amazing. I don't know how he's done it or what he's where he's got it from or what, but it looks well chewed. But it was just I thought is that a carrot or something? Oh no, it's actually zoomed in. Uh, this jackdaw here was actually bouncing around in the leaves looking I suppose looking probably for spiders and things like that this squirrel here this is kind of in focus but not um, this is shooting through literally scrub scrubby sort of bush and I was really amazed that I actually managed to get a shot so uh, shutter speed was way too slow it was 1 60th of a second at 600mm um, bird here as well looking through the trees um, and then some slow motion so it's just really cool the ducks always clean themselves or splashing around so it always looks awesome um, just a shame it wasn't sunny. If it was sunny, it would look so much better because the light would have been nicer. Um, just everything just looks better. But it's always cool watching these guys um, splash around and have a bit of fun. Um, just need to get some of them coming into land properly in slow motion. It would be kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so that was that really. It was just a nice little wander around for an hour or so. I used one whole battery. It didn't actually die, but it went down to like 0%. Um, but no trouble at all and I was still snapping away even for five even maybe ten minutes after it had gone below one percent 
um, as shown with exhausted battery, but it hadn't actually really died. And it's, that's how they do keep going a bit longer than you actually think. Um, over 400 and something shots uh, taken. So general use and obviously video clips of slow motion. So it, it's still very impressive. It doesn't matter how small that battery is. It's still very impressive the fact that it's a large camera with a big zoom lens, um, very powerful, and it can actually, um, you know, um, battery even does last. Even if you've got a couple in your pocket, it's absolutely fine. Uh, Robin here doing a bit of slow motion sort of, I don't know, kamikaze I don't know what you want to call it. Just jumps off and back down to the ground. They kind of fall. Uh, me just walking back to the car. So um, anyway, guys, I hope that was okay. Leave some questions. Um, comments and everything like that and I shall see you soon.